And fire districts from all over Spokane have lent a hand to other agencies during this very busy fire season. And now one of those districts is turning to the people that they serve for more funding. Spokane County District 8 in South Spokane County is proposing a four-year levy that would raise property taxes to help with maintenance and operations. And KXY Force Ali Norton joins us now live on the South Hill. And Ali, this vote is coming up pretty soon. That is right, Nadine. Uh, residents in District 8 should be receiving those ballots by mail sometime this week, and then they will have until August 4th to fill it in. If you live in Fire District 8, it's hard to miss these signs for Prop 1. This one is in front of the Smerics home big supporters of the levy. It's a great cause and we need it out here for this district. Spokane County District 8 serves almost 20,000 people across a 110 square mile radius. The proposal would raise property taxes for those residents by 50 cents per $1,000 assessed value for four years. For example, a person who owns a $200,000 home is going to be forking over 100 extra dollars for the next four years. That will allow the fire district to... The ability to maintain service, uh, continue staff fire stations to be able to respond immediately to fires and medical emergencies. The second thing is we want to add a paramedic at every station. Fire officials estimate the levy would bring in $1.3 million a year, which would allow them to bring in additional staffing and keep the employees that they have. If it doesn't pass, Nielsen says they are looking at cuts. We'll have to reduce staff, uh, possibly reduce station staffing or close stations. But the added tax could be a lot for some. For others, like Smerrick, it's worth the cost. That's peace of mind to have these guys and these guys and gals out here for this and to be this close for that. And if they go away, then, you know, your next one is out in Hangman Valley. It's somewhere else that is in minutes cost lives in this in this event. And again, District 8 residents should be expecting those ballots to be coming in the mail sometime this week. And it does need 60% or more yes votes to pass. Reporting live tonight, Amalie Norton, KXLY 4 News.